Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gensica, and today we'll be talking about the new Lyrilis cards from the Duelist Pack. <clears throat> I recently went over um, Sherry LeBlanc's cards, and now we're going over the new card for Rory, which I'm actually glad, but also a little bit disappointed about. Not because these cards are bad, but because I was about to do a archetypal facelift for this deck until. Until I saw, you know, that um, Lyrilisks were getting cards, so I kind of had to scrap that. But these new cards more than make up for that. Anyways, let's get started. First, we have Lyrilisk Barrel Can Canary. And it's a level 1 wind, wind Beast effect monster with 0 attack and 200 defense. If this card is in your hand, you can target one Lyrilisk monster in your graveyard, special summon this card and that target, but you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Exceeds monsters. Second effect. A wind Exceeds monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect. Gain 200 attack, also possession cannot switch, <coughs> which is pretty nice. Second, and for the second card, we have Lyrilisk Celesti Wagtail. And it's a level 1 winged, wind, winged beast effect monster with, two, with 200 attack and 0 defense. If this card is special summoned, you can add one Lyrilisk spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. Also, notice how it looks like the one that searches monsters, but just in gray. Second effect, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Lyrilisk Exceeds monster you control. Attack, attach this card to it as material, which is also pretty nice. It's not, a, it's not a once per duel effect, and you can essentially use it each turn, which is pretty nice. Next we have Lyrilisk Assemblu Robin. And it's a rank 1 Wind Wing Beast Exceeds Effect Monster with 0 attack and 0 defense. And its material requires 2 plus no level 1 monsters. First effect gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. If this second effect, if this card reading. Second effect if your opponent, if your opponent special summons a monsters. You can detach one material from this card, then target one of those monsters, return it to the hand. And the second and that effect isn't really a hard one per turn, so technically you could just stack a bunch of material onto this and just bounce a whole bunch of their special summoned monsters. Which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Third effect, if this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your by an opponent's card. You can target one of the Lyrilisk monster in your graveyard added to your hand, which is pretty nice. The second effect more than already makes this card really good, but the first and third effects are a nice bonus. Next we have Lyrilisk Prom Thrush, and it's a, it's a rank 1 wind winged beast exceeds effect monster with 0 attack and 0 defense. Material requires 2 plus level 1 monsters. Gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one spell, trap your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. Third effect. At the start of the damage step, if another of your monsters battles, you can detach any number of material from this card. Your battling monster gains 300 attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. Which is pretty nice. Next we have the first spell card of the deck. Also I'm surprised they didn't just print the anime. Um, I forgot what it's called. But the anime version of. I'm not going to say of this card. But just the anime card. Anyways. Next we have Lyrilisk Bird Sanctuary. And it's a continuous spell it's a continuous spell card. First effect, you can target two winged beasts, exceeds monsters you control, attach one of them, and all material attached to it to the other as material. Second effect, you, if you control an exceeds monster with three or more material, you control one card. 
You don't really need to use the first effect just to get the second effect off, but you can do that if you're desperate enough. And lastly, we have Litterless Birds of a Feather. Puns. You can target one Litterless Monster. Oh yeah, it's a normal trap card, by the way. First effect, you can target one Litterless Monster you control. Change the attack of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls to that target. Also, their levels and ranks become one. Which is also pretty nice, since it could disrupt your opponent's synchro plays, exceeds plays, and even disrupt them during the battle phase. Which is pretty nice, and that's... And on top of that, Little List already have tons of defense with your Nightingale, since, you know, Nightingale could prevent itself from being destroyed, as well as prevent you from taking damage. But this is just extra protection on that, too. Second effect, when an opponent's monster declares an attack on your Litterless monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Your, bandling's mo your Bandling monster's attack becomes the same as your opponent's monster's un until the end of this turn. Over by then. And that's it for the new Litterless cards. Anyways, it's been me, your boy Blue Gets Guy, and I'm out.